Mavs at Wolves. Junior Brown back in the NBA shot clock on this Wednesday, May 22nd with another free pick. And we're rocking with the under 208 in this game. Difficult um, series to handicap because we don't really have too much to go by from the regular season. Minnesota was 3-1 and one against Dallas during the regular season. However, Kyrie and Luka only played in one of those games together, which is the one game that Dallas won. But you can't even take too much up from that because Dallas' team is completely different now than they were then. All, all four of these games happened before the trade deadline when Dallas switched up their team and became one of the best defensive teams in the NBA. Um, when you look at the minutes played in the four games between these two teams, uh, other than Kyrie and Luka, the top minutes guys are Tim Hardaway Jr., Derek Jones Jr., um, Grant Williams, who's not even on the team anymore, Josh Green, and Tim Hardaway Jr. Tim Hardaway Jr. and Josh Green barely play 15 minutes a game now. Their minutes have been replaced by Daniel Gafford, and they've been replaced by P.J. Washington. And that's very important, because when you look at Minnesota's success against this team, it's come from the fact that Cat and Nas Reed have been able to eat with barely any resistance. Uh, Nas Reed is shooting over 50% from three against uh, Dallas on the season. Cat shooting well into the 40%, uh, shooting over well over 50% from the field as well. Averaging 21 a game. They're just destroying these guys. Well, now, Dallas at that time was playing Dwight Powell as a big man. Now they've got Lively, they've got Gafford, they've got PJ Washington, who's definitely going to be matched up directly with Cat, who can provide some resistance. This is a team in Dallas who's allowing 110 points for 100 possessions defensively, which, if you prorate that with the regular season, that would be number two in the league. Now, obviously, it's as we're comparing apples and oranges because you can't compare defense from the regular season and the playoffs, but what I can tell you is this. The Knicks made it to Game 7 of the second round, allowing 120 points for 100 possessions. They obviously didn't advance because their defense wasn't good enough. Dallas is 10 points for 100 possessions better than that. And I think with the fact that Minnesota's offense is not one of the best in the league, they can hold them to a relatively low score. I don't need to explain to y'all what Minnesota's defense can do. That's the reason they're here in the first place. So I say all of that to say, give me the under 208 in this game one that's going to be tight. It's going to be physical, but it's going to be exciting. Let's cast another ticket, y'all.